Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show an example of fluent programming or command chaining in Cypress, which is pretty powerful and simplifies writing with tests a lot. In this example, I'm visiting this URL and it includes a call search string where we have a couple of parameters like search, ID, could be something else. Then we have a should with a function callback and what I'm doing here is I'm converting the search string into URL search params object using the browser API. Then I'm converting it to a plain object and I'm confirming that this plain object has certain properties with certain values using deep equal assertion. So I'm going to refactor this test instead of using the callback, I will do step by step chaining of Cypress commands to get the plain object and then confirm its properties using deep equal again. One thing I want to stress is before we do anything, we want to make sure that the search has the data that we expect. Because if you're visiting something and URL changes because of application redirects, you want to make sure you're not right URL before you start parsing it to make sure retrievability works in your favor. Okay, so first I'll say should include and maybe let's say search equals. So once this assertion passes, we know we have the right URL. Now we want to transform it into a plain object and confirm the values. So look at this callback, right? We are converting a string into a URL search params by calling new URL search params constructor. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pass the current subject yielded by the location into a then callback. Okay, so right now it's a string and we want to take this string and we want to make it an object. And because this callback returns a new object, it will be yielded to the next command or next assertion. So we can transform the current subject either by applying a callback or invoking a method right here. So right now we got the parsed object, right, after this step. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get the entries. It's a method on the current subject. So we can say invoke using sign invoke entries. Okay, so right now we got this value as our current subject. And then we need to call array from on that value. So we'll say then, right, so what we're doing here, we have a string, we construct your all search params and pass it to the next sci invoke. This gives us the entries, we pass it into sci then call array from. So now we have an array. And now from that array of pairs of key and value, we want to construct a plain object by calling low dash from pairs. Okay, so here's one trick that I always do, and let me just comment this out. I attach then console log, and I will open the dev tools when I write this kind of transformation, because then I can see if I get the right values, or maybe if I skip a step or write incorrectly, if I get something incorrect right here. So I need this from pairs. Okay, now we got the plain object and what should it have? It should deep equal. And if you don't know all the key value pairs, you can use deep include. And the search is this value and ID is this one. Perfect. There is one other thing that I might suggest. So notice we have this ID is one, two, three, four. Sometimes you need to transform a property, for example, from a string into a number to convert it. So you can use one more callback where if you have an object, you can do a Cypress low dash update with, I believe, object uh, ID is the name of a property and the callback that should transform the values. So in this case, we're going to convert it to a number. And now it should be one, two, three, four. And again, my console log right here 
shows if our conversion was successful. And notice that in this case, load dash update weave mutates the original argument, so we don't have to even return anything because, well, the original subject is mutated and passed to the next command. So this was an example of Fluent Programming where you take the current subject and you keep transforming it by applying callback functions or invoking the methods on the current subject.